After an above average season in the Eastern Pacific last year, the World Meteorological Organization retired Dora and Otis to extremely destructive major hurricanes. What's in store for this year's Eastern Pacific hurricane season? Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Eric Lopez. The Eastern Pacific hurricane season has begun on May 15th and predictions are out. We'll break down what you need to know about this year's predictions and if you have a higher than likely chance to be affected by an Eastern Pacific tropical system. NOAA has released their hurricane predictions for the 2024 Eastern Pacific hurricane season. They predict 11 to 17 named storms, which out of those named storms, four to nine of those could become hurricanes. And from those, one to four could become major hurricanes. That's category three or higher. They also forecast a 60% chance of below normal activity, a 30% chance of a near normal season and a 10% chance for an above normal season. So what all this means is that they are forecasting a likely below normal season. Conagua, Mexico's National Weather Service, predicts 15 to 18 named storms, and from those, four to five could intensify to hurricanes, and from those hurricanes, three to four could intensify to major hurricane status, which is category three or above. This points to an average season for a couple of reasons. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click on the like button. It really helps us out a lot. And of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's totally free. Click on that notification bell, that way you always know whenever we drop a new video or whenever we go live. The past two years in the Eastern Pacific Basin have been quite active with back-to-back -back above average seasons. The last time the Eastern Pacific Basin had an average number of cyclones was in 2020. The El Nino pattern was a significant contributor to previous active seasons. El Nino typically brings warmer than normal waters and less wind shear to the Eastern Pacific, which helps strengthen tropical systems. Regardless of El Nino, the Eastern Pacific can whip up some formidable storms. Hurricane Otis is the strongest landfalling hurricane on record in the Eastern Pacific Basin. It made landfall in Acapulco, Mexico as a Category 5 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 165 miles per hour in October of 2023. It rapidly intensified in 24 hours, with wind speeds gaining 115 miles per hour in that short period of time. Warm Pacific waters certainly added oceanic fuel to the atmospheric fire. In the past several years, the U.S. West Coast has seen its fair share of tropical activity and associated phenomenon. Hurricane Dora's indirect meteorological impact caused the 2023 Hawaii wildfires due to strong gradient winds over the islands, fueling wildfires. Given the devastation those fires caused, the name Dora was retired. In September of 2022, the remnants of Hurricane K produced deadly flooding and 100 mile per hour wind gusts across Southern California. In August of 2023, the remnants of Hurricane Hillary produced 87 mile per hour winds along with heavy rainfall and deadly floods. In fact, the state of California was under tropical alerts for the first time in history. So what does this all mean for this year's hurricane season? The El Nino pattern is on its way out. La Nina conditions are forecast to develop and strengthen through September. La Nina typically brings cooler water to the central and eastern Pacific Ocean while the jet stream shifts north. This creates a big ridge in the North Pacific Ocean, which typically dries out the southern half of the country. This could mean less tropical activity due to cooler waters and more wind shear, which helps tear apart storms. However, one of the countervailing factors to the La Nina background state is the warm sea surface temperatures. Like we saw with Otis, warmer waters can help fuel and intensify hurricanes and could bring more moisture over the southern tier of the U.S., including the West Coast. Indirect impacts such as moisture or lack thereof can fuel other meteorological events across the U.S. and Mexico. So it's very important to stay prepared and safe this hurricane season. And of course, my radar has you covered. Use our hurricane tracker in the app to stay in the know of what's going on in the Pacific or Atlantic basins all hurricane season long. And of course, our team of meteorologists will continue to provide updates all across the social media platforms. Follow us on there and right here on the my radar app. Follow my radar on social media. 
Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.